In 1971, Billy D. Williams played the role of Gail Sayers in the critically acclaimed film, Brian's Song. The inspiring true story of the friendship between Sayers and teammate Brian Piccolo, who is dying of cancer. It's a classic. People even today remember the performance. I was always, you know, quietly watching Gail trying to pick up certain idiosyncrasies. I always uh, sort of equated his running style to ballet, uh, Nijinsky. You know, he had that kind of beauty. I loved watching him run. It's poetry. Unlike, like, let's say, Jim Brown, who was, you know, he carried about 14 people on his back. <laughs> when he ran, it was like watching one person turn into two people. In 1965, the Kansas Comet had the 49ers seeing double when he blazed across a rain-soaked Wrigley Field, scoring six touchdowns to tie the NFL single-game record. Give me 18 inches of daylight. That's all I need. I never would on a practice field and worked on faking left, going right, or turning around, that type of thing. Many times there'd be a fella coming from my blind side, and no way I could see, but I could feel it. There's times that I would make a move, and I couldn't explain it, but you know, it's a God-given instinct to, to do things like that. You know, I'm a painter, so what you learn in, in, when you're a painter is that you paint your broad strokes, which is obvious to the eye, and then you paint your the subtleties, the nuances. That's where the story is being told. That's what draws people in. That's what makes people pay attention. Gail, he had a natural a subtlety in the way he performed on a football field. You couldn't take your eyes off of You don't see that all the time. I mean, it's unusual. Brilliant but fleeting, Sayers' career lasted just 68 games. In his fourth season, he tore several ligaments in his right knee and was never the same runner again. However, like Williams' performance in Brian's song, Sayers' work still resonates. Watching him run was one of the most beautiful, special experiences I've ever had in my life. That's indelible greatness. The number four rookie season of all time, Gail Sayers. I think Sayers' rookie year is the greatest rookie year of any player. The Bears took Gale Sayers in the 1965 draft, and the rest of the season was a cosmic event. His nickname coming out of college was the Kansas Comet. Sayers, the Kansas Comet, off likes a pair of track packer backs as he sweeps into the end zone to put the Bears on the scoreboard. When you saw him run, yeah, it, it was like watching a comet streak across the heavens. Give me 18 inches of daylight. That's all I need. With my God-given talent, all I needed was a little crease over here. And Sayers gets Green Bay up there. Just give me a, a, 
I hold there, I get there. Gail Sayers was just an unbelievable football player. It's Gallup and Gail Sayers to the rescue as the most exciting runner to explode on the NFL scene in years. When Gail Sayers burst onto the scene, I used that word burst. That's exactly what he did. He sent notice to the National Football League. I'm an impact player. The rookie of the year, Gail Sayers. 61 mercurial yards. Give the lead to the Bears. Our number four rookie season included a record time six touchdown game. If we had a record book on the sidelines, I probably could have scored nine touchdowns. The incandescent Sayers goes careening in the corner with another touchdown. Well, everybody was playing on a muddy field except him. I would have to say in the history of football, it was the greatest single game display I've ever seen. Bears coach George Hallis said that's the greatest performance I've ever seen on a football field. And George Hallis had been around since 1919 and he had never seen anything to compare to that. Bear fans are reveling in every yard and every part of Gale's fantastic performance. But I tell you, it was, you know, good ball game. One of the reasons that Sayers' rookie season was so great was that he scored touchdowns so many different ways. Kickoff, punt return, running, catching, anything. He could literally get touched on any time he touched the ball. Here he is, galloping Gale, carrying the mail. He was immediately the best kick returner in all of football, and that's both kickoffs and punts. I mean, he averaged over 14 yards per punt return, and he averaged more than 30 yards on a kickoff return. I mean, he was about as close to untackleable as any player ever want to see. Sayer's rookie season is good enough for number four on our list, but how much better could he have been in a 16-game season? He really only played 12 full games and yet scored 22 touchdowns. It was in this game that Gale began to gather his rave reports and the reasons are obvious. He only touched the ball 232 times that season. So he was averaging a touchdown about every 10 times he touched the ball. Other guys who have broken the record over the years, all 350 to 400 touches in the season. It's amazing. If I had to pick what I think is the greatest rookie year in NFL history, it would be Sayers in Chicago.